this is a story of my, me and my younger son. Scene one, 10 years back. Papa, let's play football. No, I'm very busy. I cannot go. Papa, you never go. Always I'm, I'm, always I'm sitting at home. My, all my friends are going at the park or at the field. They are playing. I am sitting idle at the home. Then he will put my legs, my pants to grab his attention. Most of the time I push him towards my wife or give him some lame excuses. Okay, I cannot go. Toastmasters, guest, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is a story. This is a scenario I used to. This is a scenario I used to have with my son when he used to go out. Every time I push him to a scene when he has no other option but to stay at home or play on his own when he's supposed to go out. I cannot give more time to him. I am taking him his I am not giving him his basic requirements also. But remember the good old days when he used to go out, we are the first person to go out of the field to play with our friends or with our parents. But I am not giving them, I have not given them the same requirement. Sometimes I feel, am I a self-centered, selfish animal or a social human being? In fact, should I tell you, animals also give more time to their kids. I should you some statistics. <laughs> there are 970 Fridays and Saturdays after your child is born till he goes out for higher studies. You must be thinking it's a lot, but till your son or daughter reaches five years old, 270 Fridays and Saturdays are gone. When they grow up, they are more busy with their friends or their studies. So you have very little time to be with them. I will show you one scenario where how the vacuum will be created when your kids go out of for higher studies. Take your biological parent to guide clock to a situation where all your kids have already gone out for higher studies. See your back of the car. Nobody is screaming. Nobody is talking in their kids' room. Nobody is talking. Nobody is jumping on the beds. Your laundry is totally clear. Very <laughs> regulated. Your rooms are very, very clean. Now, take the biological clock to a situation today. What is happening? Everything is ups and downs. Tell me, which is greener or which is dark? Yes, I'm asking you. Today's world is much more green. Scene 2, today's world. Now my son is 18 year old. He will be leaving for college next month. We are so much worried how he is going to cope the whole world. How is he going to face the whole scenario? Is he going to go in a bad company? But think about 10 years back when he wants to play with me, I often say, no, I don't want to play. I am busy. Papa, you are not going out for football. Papa, you are not going for walking. No, I am very busy. I cannot go. As a result, what has happened? As a result, the, the, the relationship, the relationship never developed. And he cannot imbibe the good things from me. Do you want to avoid this situation? Yes, I'm asking all the fathers yes, yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to avoid this situation? Please. Yes. 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 Everybody yes. wants to avoid this situation. Everybody wants to avoid this situation. Nobody wants the children to be left out. I'll give you some suggestion about this. Every child has to spend a reasonable time with their parents. He has to see who you are and how you live your life. In this process, the relationship develops and they emulate you. 
if you have already given a reasonable time to them, you should not be bothered about that thing because you have already given the best part of yours and when they face the whole world, you are okay. You say that this is the best thing I have given. Same thing I am doing with my youngest son. I am giving the best of time right now, which I have missed with my elder son. So that he sees the various facets of life and in the process, the relationship develops. To summarize, I will say, if you give more time to your children today, you will not face any problem tomorrow. Before I conclude, I want to give you a reminder of the biggest words by Pope John Paul the 13th. He said it. It is, it is, it is for a father to have a child rather than a child to have a real father. I repeat, it is for a father to have a child. It is easier for a father to have a child rather than a child to have a real father. Now, the choice is yours. Over to you, ma'am.